Hello everyone, this is another short video tip from Valley Office Equipment. I'm going to be working today with a BizHub Konica Minolta 363. And what I'd like to show you today is a procedure to save your address book with all your users. And this is very helpful when you're wanting to format the hard drive or needing to format the hard drive and or whether you of course got to change the machine but what you can do is you can uh, export all your users in your uh, in your scans function and it saves a lot of time for data entry in this particular case uh, here's the uh, preset users that I put in to this machine in my shop but it could be that uh, out in the field you may have 50 or 100 users in one machine all with preset um, you know buttons and when you format that hard drive those will all go away and so it's very very helpful to be able to save those so the first thing we'll do is we will find the IP address so I'm going to push the utility counter button and then I'm going to push administrator settings. Now the password, it does require a password, it's just simply one through eight. Whoops. Okay, that allows us to get into the administrator mode. And then I'm going to push network settings, TCP IP settings, and then IP version 4 is right there is usually where your IP address is. There's different ways to get the IP address. This is uh, just one quick way that I'm showing you how to do it just physically on the machine. So there's the IP address and what we're going to do is make a note of that and then we're going to go to a desktop, open up a browser, and then uh, go ahead and type that in. So I'll just kind of carefully walk over here to my desk and I've already opened up a browser. In my case, I opened up Firefox. And I typed in the IP address and the address bar there. And what happens is it, is it opens up to the uh, PageScope web, web connection. And what I'm going to do is I am going to log in as an administrator, not as a public user. See? So I just clicked administrator log in and then the password again for your web connection is the same as on the machine it's one through eight just entered that in okay now I'm in as an administrator and if you notice I'll zoom in here a little bit the export import that's where uh, that's where it is. And then I can go to address because it's the address book that I'm concerned about. I can go to export. I'll go ahead and just click address book because I don't really need to save all the other settings. Those are usually set up as a default. I'll just go ahead and put in 123 as the password. Confirm that and then say OK. Okay, now what it does is it, okay, we don't need to update this password. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take just a minute here, and then it's going to say preparation for download has been completed. And then we'll just go ahead and click download. And then it opens up, uh, well, in my case, it does default to save file versus open, and that's good. It's a text file. So we're going to go ahead and save that. And what it does is it's going to take it to the downloads. So in Firefox, we'll go up to this arrow key, and that's your downloads. We'll go ahead and show the downloads. And then really what all I need to do now is I just need to drag this file over to my desktop. I won't do that uh, uh, for the video's sake, but that's... That's all you do. You would drag it over the desktop and that saves it uh, on your computer so that when you do 
format the hard drive or change the machine, your, your, all your users are going to be saved in that file. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to go back. And then I'm just going to quickly show you. It's the reverse process when you want to import those back into the machine after the hard drive has been formatted. Okay, so I don't really need to show you all that, but basically you're going to just do the exact uh, same thing, but from import, now I'm going to go to import and then I won't click on that, but it'll ask you, do you want to browse? And you do, and you browse to your desktop, find that folder, and then import it back into the machine. And there you have it. So hopefully that was helpful. Thanks very much.